Let my eyes see Jesus only. We see the world, its customs, its fascinations. We get mesmerized by materialism. We live in the present instead of we should be living for eternity even now while our feet are on earth. We should be so different from the rest of the tribe around us, but I'm afraid very often we're not. The life which I now live in the flesh, what kind? Is it a life of victory or a life of failure? Is Christ magnified in my personality, through my mind, through my spirit, through my emotions, through my body? Or am I just Mr. Average Christian, a pew dweller? I just pay my tithes and I love the pastor. And the world goes to hell. <clears throat> you know, all these all awesome men, again, I'm not suggesting for a minute, if you do everything that Paul did, you'll become another apostle. Paul, not so. That's already been done. There's no more epistles to write. But we can become men of like character, and that's what God wants. Emptied of self, filled with God. Not just having a mind of my own, but having the mind of God working through my mind, through my emotions, through my heart, through my conscience, through my will. There's that restless, troubled world. People will die by the thousands, maybe before this business is over in India, and go straight to a lost eternity. Two thousand years after Jesus was born, mercy on us. There are more lost people without God than ever. What is it? Every day a quarter of a million babies are born and they'll never hear the gospel. Every day at least a hundred thousand die throughout the world that have never heard the gospel. This man has a consuming passion for one thing, that Christ may be known. Whether by life or by death, I don't care. He signed himself away one day. When he died on the cross with Jesus Christ, he died to all his ambitions, he died to all earthly honours, he died to his nation. He was of the tribe of Benjamin, the seed, seed of Abraham. He had every cultural advantage, he had every intellectual advantage. I lay in dust life's glory dead, he said. <clears throat> Hundreds of men have done it since. I'm going to ask you to sing a hymn and then we go straight to prayer. Don't sing it if you don't mean it, please. Oh, three, six, three, three hundred sixty-three. Let's stand and sing.